Well, hey, I'm doing this as a video instead of a live on Facebook because I want to be careful about what I say. I don't want to bring anyone down or offend anyone. But I guess those are the chances you take when you share your opinion, right? So if you don't like what I'm sharing, turn me off and go on to something else. But these days, I think it's um, people are perhaps more prone to become down or depressed, upset or angry because there is a great polarization. Not, I'm not just talking about political things. I mean, in just so many areas, I think when there, there are stressful times, people find security in um, holding certain beliefs that are popular in a group that they identify with. Um, you know, it makes you feel more secure. It makes you feel like, yes, I'm not the only one that thinks this. Other people believe this too. I have support from them. We have a sense of camaraderie. But here's the thing that I wanna say, and this is the thing that maybe might upset some people. I really believe that these days, for all of our best mental health, and in every other way. It's not so much whether you are right and I'm wrong or I'm right and you're wrong or whatever. It's that we respect one another enough to allow each other to hold different views and to not let those views cause us to discount one another as human beings, okay? Um, I have heard of people who, they don't believe that wearing a mask uh, or social distancing uh, makes a difference and they have all their views about that and they're against it. You know what, that's okay, but please, you know, don't put down and denigrate people who do wear a mask or social distance. And, you know, the reverse is true too. Um, you know, for example, I wear a mask and social distance. I believe because of things I have read, studied, experiences, my whole life experience um, and orientation, I have reasons to believe that that's the correct thing to do. But you know what? I'm not gonna force you to do it. I respect you as a person. Now, I may not, you know, get around you a whole lot if you're not uh, conducting yourself in the same way because I feel like it's a matter of, um, you know, I need to protect my health and so that makes a difference, but it's okay. I respect you as a person. I respect your right to have a view that differs from mine. Um, and if you respect me, you know, then you'll say, well, okay, you know, I don't, I don't go with this social distancing stuff, but Sylvia, because you do, you know, I'm gonna respect that and, you know, I will stay six feet away from you or whatever. You know, same thing with politics, um, you know, Trump, Biden, you know, what happened in the election and so on and so forth, you know what? We have a democratic system in this country. Um, we could have just had one candidate, you know, and you vote or you don't vote. And obviously the one would win, you know, unless nobody voted, I guess. But, you know, the point is, yes, the fact of life is we are all going to have different opinions about things. People are going to feel strongly for one candidate strongly against one candidate. You know, some people feel strongly that there should be, you know, three, four, five more candidates. And, you know, some people voted, as they say, third party. Um, you know, everybody has a different opinion. But I think what's very important is that we respect the right of other people to hold their opinion. Now, you know, you might say, well, yeah, but then 
uh, if they think this, they may then go on to act in ways that are gonna impact on me negatively. Well, you know what? If that happens, then deal with that. But I think we need to start from a position of respecting one another as human beings and respecting and honestly rejoicing in the fact that it takes all kinds to make the world go round. Different people think different ways for different reasons, different things, okay? This is a fact of life. So um, an example is I know someone who in certain matters in life, I look up to this person. I think that they're smart, competent. Uh, there's a lot of really good things about them, good qualities. I respect them, but in certain areas, they believe totally different from me. You know what? In those areas, I allow them that latitude and I hold my own beliefs. We don't have to think the same things. We don't have to believe the same things, okay? I believe in God and I have a lot of reasons which perhaps if you had gone through the same things that I have, you would too. But you don't have to believe in God. That's okay. I'm not gonna hold that against you, all right? Please don't hold it against me that I believe in God. And one last thing I'd like to say is, um, I, I know a few people who, because I am a Christian, they assume, therefore, I must believe this, 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 and practice this, 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 because they know other Christians who do. You know what? As with any set of beliefs, there's usually a pretty wide latitude of how to incorporate that belief into your life. Um, everybody is different, you know? Uh, yes, some people blindly follow things because they don't have the wherewithal in their lives to think things through any further. There are other people who, are, who overthink things. I just wanna say, respect yourself and respect one another. Try to see the other person's point of view. I'm not saying that you have to hold their point of view, that you have to agree with it, but respect them as people and the fact that just as you have your point of view, you can allow someone else to have theirs. It's not going to, um, your security is not based on, or shouldn't be based on, having to believe the same thing as everyone else. Think through what you believe. You know, I always told my kids when we talked about God, I said, ask questions. Because if what you believe or don't believe <laughs> cannot stand up to questioning, then mm, you need to consider something else. You need to figure out why, what is wrong with what you believe. So question things. If you're not secure enough at this point to question them, at least respect the right of others to hold their personal beliefs. And I think that it'll help you to be happier and less depressed and less angry. And it might even help you to feel better about yourself too, because you know, the way you treat others, very often they treat you back the same way. So show respect for others and some of them will catch on and show respect for you too. That's what I wanted to say today. I hope I didn't offend anyone, but if I did, I hope that it will give you reason to think why did that offend me? Why did it bother me? And maybe understand some more about yourself or about me. Okay, have a good day.